Hello, people of the internet that, for some strange reason, pay attention to Angry Snowboarder. I don't know why you do. But cool. Today we're going to talk about my top five rad dad boards. What's a rad dad board? Rad dad board is for rad dads. That guy with a video camera following his five-year-old through the mini park, it's great for him. And then occasionally he likes to sneak away from his kids, because who doesn't like to sneak away from their kids? And maybe try to go get some pow, go get some carbs, go get some actual real laps. One board for the rad dad. Aaron's not here. I think he might have explosive diarrhea. That's where he is. You get me today. <laughs> Starting off with number five is the Arbor Iguchi Rocker. Specifically the Rocker. Camera's actually kind of gnarly. The Rocker board, it's super easy to ride. You can put just about anybody on it. They're going to have a good time on it. It floats great. It actually holds its edge on hard pack. So if the snow sucks, he's, you know, your rad dad's not going to fall over and hurt himself and break his hip because dads are old apparently. And when you do get a chance to sneak away from your family that you hate because you were 22 when you had your first kid and you married your wife right afterwards because you felt like you had to, otherwise your wife's father was going to shoot you in the face. Uh, you hate your life. That's okay. Because there's rad dad snowboards to make your life better. And when you want to go sneak away from that family, this board's going to flow great. It grips. It carves. I rode it on a, like, literally boilerplate at Snow Basin last year because it had rained and then froze, and it was terrible. And that board held its own on ice. A full rocker board on ice. So it grips. Floats great. It's full rocker. If you can't float full rocker, you have a problem. And, Yeah. It makes a great rad dad board for anybody that's just looking for something to cruise on and chase their kids with. My number four pick for rad dad boards is the LibTech Attack Banana. It's got rocker, it's got camber, it's a little bit directional now, and it's got magnet traction. So you've got your float, you've got your grip, you've got a little bit of pop, and it's got a full basalt construction. So it rides super smooth for when you're chasing your kid and running over their little turds because kids poop on the snow. That's a thing, right? Maybe not. I don't know. And it floats great. It's a mellower board. I don't think it's got a, you know, a crazy amount of snap to it, but that makes it super easy to ride. So when you're out there, again, chasing your kids and you want to get away, get that hot lap, get that groomer burner lap, go try and find some pow in the trees. You know, it's easy to do that on. It's not something that, you know, if you're not charging on every day that you're just going to lose it and you're you can't ride every day anymore because you've got kids. So, yeah, it's just it's super easy to ride to get on. It's it's like you've been riding it for years. It's not going to buck you. It's going to stay underneath you and do what, you do what it needs you to do. You need it to do. You need it to do. And it just kind of does it. You don't have to put much too, too much effort into it. And that's awesome for rad dads. Rad dads can't get out there and shred 60 days a year anymore. At least most of them can't. you got kids. They take up time. Years years and years of your life. Number three pick for Rad Dad Snowboards is the Lago Snowboards Open Road. Most of you probably haven't heard about this unless you've been paying attention to Angry Snowboarder for quite some time and pretty in detail because it's Lago's brand. He's into sort of year three. I don't really know when he introduces new stuff or if he has a real schedule on that because I feel like year one lasted about a year and a half and then year two lasted about six months and then year three happened. So I don't know where he's at. But I'm pretty sure he's in his third or fourth edition of the board. Basically, the board hasn't really changed, though. It rips. The cool thing about the open road is it's almost more of like your mid-flex park deck, but in a full directional tapered pow shape. And that doesn't really exist too much out there. There's not that many boards like that. So it makes it super easy to ride because it's basically a park board. But then you get into deep snow or just cruising around, it's a full directional tapered deck. It carves like crazy because the guy that designs the side cuts on those probably designed some of the best side cuts in the entire industry. And it's just easy to ride. You can take it into the park, because again, it's soft. You're going to be able to chase your little kitties with your GoPro right through the park, get everybody else's way. But, you know, we'll just let that slide. And then when you want to go sneak away and go get your pal laps, go get your trees, go get your groomers, you know, have actual fun instead of just chasing your kids. You know, you're, you're going to tell me that chasing your kids is fun. But we know you're lying. That's okay, because you've got rad dad boards to make your time a little bit better.
My number two pick for the Rad Dad Snowboards is the Libtech Dagmar. This was a late release for the 18 season. It's going to be full in the line next year for 19. Uh, it's awesome. I wrote it. I kind of want one. And that says a lot because I'm pretty picky about my snowboards now. Everything that I want is pretty specialized now, and everything's got to have a pretty specific place and do its job really well because I've got so many snowboards because I'm a snowboard whore. And believe this, hey Chad, keep your you whore! And it goes into my rad dad list because it's rocker between the feet, camber under each foot, it's directional, very directional with some setback. It's got a big nose, it's got a cool shape to it, it's got a cool graphic, you know, you can be that edgy cool dad. Uh, still chase your kids to the park a bit because it's easy to ride. Uh, it's super stable, um, very damp. Doesn't have a ton of life to it. It's not the most lively of boards, but that's kind of the reason that I like it. It's not going to buck you. It's going to be something that charging all day behind your kids, chasing them around, and then they're done at 2 o'clock. There's still good snow to go get. You can send your kids off to the daycare or wherever else. Lock them in the car. Can you do that? Do people break your window like they do with pets with your children? I don't know. Go get some good laps, trees, it's quick edge to edge, it's got rocker between the feet, powder again, rocker between the feet and a big directional nose, so it's going to float great, super stable, so at the end of the day when you got to bust through chunder, it's going to do that and it's not going to buck you, it's going to get through it with saving your legs too, so you're not going to be quite as tired at the end of the day. Magnet traction is going to grip good on ice, you know, if it's not super good out, hasn't snowed in a while and the groomers are still kind of hard, it's going to grip, it's going to hold at edge. I, it rips. Congratulations, you've made it all the way through the video to my number one pick. And that number one pick is from Rome, and it's next year's Ravine. It's a new board from Rome in their Tramline series. The Tramline series is their POW, mountain, kind of surfy inspired series. And the Ravine is that kind of that new breed of boards that's kind of come out in the last like three or four years that's got that big nose, taper, directional, but not POW decks, specifically, they're designed as all mountain boards that rip everywhere and float really, really good in POW. This board is amazing. This is something that I would own in a heartbeat. It's got good snap to it. It's not super damp, but it's not super lively. It's kind of that really awesome middle spot where it's going to take care of you, but it's also like got some energy. It's going to give you some life. The side cut on it's really, really good. It's going to carve awesome. And it's part of my rad dad list because it's part of that whole series of snowboards that's come out where that's kind of where they're aimed at. They're aimed at that guy that's 35 years old and he had kids. He took his break from snowboarding for eight years and now he's trying to get back into it because he can actually chase his kids on the mountain. Now they're old enough to actually get on the mountain. So he wants one snowboard to ride everything except maybe not really park because you know maybe he's chasing his kid through the kiddie park, but that's really about the extent of park he's going to do. So it's one board to ride everything else and that's equipped to handle whatever the mountain throws at them that day because they're not getting 60 days anymore, they're getting 10, they're getting 15. And it partly goes on my list because it's just that good. I'd recommend this board to just about anybody, not just Rad Dads. This has been my top five Rad Dad boards. Thanks for watching. Hopefully Avery's back for another top five with something that maybe you guys want to come up with. Uh, hopefully he hasn't shot his intestines out with that explosive diarrhea he's got going on. We'll find out. Hopefully he doesn't. Click subscribe. Find out more about these videos. Click the bell so you know when they actually happen. What did I miss? What's your favorite Rad Dad board? You're wrong. This is the list. If it's not on a list, it doesn't matter. And check out Angry Snowboarder VIP so you can support us, keep these videos coming. My fifth favorite Rad Dad snowboard is the... Shit, I should probably remember that. <laughs> okay, hang on.